Okay, so I'm about 20 minutes from Hermiston, Oregon, which is where my last load delivered. So this likely happened this week between the time I was last in Hermiston, Oregon and today. This likely happened within the last couple days. Notice all the greenery. We're gonna call this scorched earth. Ground scorch. We'll call it ground scorch just to avoid, I can smell it. I can still smell it. Anyway, you notice all the green sticking up? Another thing, let's point this out. Right in the middle here is turned to ash. Around the edge is where they remain standing. This will be a repeated pattern that we see all over, right here. Around the edge, they're still standing. Here's the edge, here's the edge, that's the edge. This is the whole clump of bushes right there. But in the middle, it turns to ash and leaves a ring of weeds around the outer edge of the clump. This is the case with all of these clumps. That's the middle, turned to ash, and it's still hot. Holy shit. Holy shit. It's still hot. This happened. It's still smoking. And you can see, fire don't do that. This is ground scorch. The only reason I pulled over is because this one is so obviously different. Again, the middle, burnt, the outer edges. This patch goes right here, right here. That's the patch of grass that's all one root ball. It leaves the edges unburned and they all do the same thing over and over. But the reason I stopped and looked at this one because it's obviously different than the others. I see these roadside spot, fire spots. I'm gonna have to count and do a tally on my way back from Washington. I'm going clear up to the border, Boblet, Washington, border of Canada. And I'm gonna have to make a tally mark of how many of these roadside fire spots that I now see on my way back from Washington to Utah. Because they are increasing so much, I rarely stop to film them anymore. This one I stopped to film because of this phenomenon right here. So much greenery sticking up out of so much scorched earth. The repeated pattern. The middle's burnt out. The outer edge still has standing weeds. Now some of them, the whole things are still standing. But the ones that burnt to an extent, to a further extent, you'll see that pattern where the middle's burnt out. These burnt all the way down. But the ones that are in between this and that end up with just the middle of the patch of weeds burnt out. Here's a good example. The middle burnt out. The weeds around the outer edge of the clump still standing. This is the burn pattern that I saw in the middle of the freeway where there was car fire wreckage. And I told you I accidentally deleted that one and that the next time I go to Montana, I'll film it again. It was this pattern that I saw in the middle of the road in the center island around the burned car where the plat, that one didn't turn it all the way to ash. Most of them are all the way to ash in the middle. Either way, it still produced the same pattern all over. You can see that's the middle, that's the edge. Here's a great one, here's a perfect one. Let's pop that out and that out. You can see it's still standing all the way around the edge. Burnt to ash in the middle. Okay, I won't just keep showing you the same thing over and over. But I decided to stop and film this one because there's so much greenery sticking up out of the black scorched ground that it provides an opportunity to document a slightly different phenomenon than the hundreds of others that I see of these roadside scorch burns. Here's the fires. 
fire truck starting right now. Looks like this happened today. They're here to handle it. Should I go talk to them? I envision getting beaten in the head by police. Saying, you want to shut up now or you want to keep running your mouth? So I'm going to leave them alone because the last firefighters I talked to said this is a crime scene under investigation. Restricted area, you're not supposed to be here. So this happened today, guys, or they wouldn't be showing up. This happened hours ago. Within the hour, possibly. Should I go talk to them? I'm going to go drop my YouTube page on them. So I'm going to keep the camera rolling while I talk to these guys, but just hold it down at my side so you can hear the info. But obviously, this just happened. Coincidence that I happen to be here right as it happens? No. You think these guys know that what they're looking at ain't fire? Probably. I've got another YouTube video called Arming Firefighters with the White Hot Sword of Truth. I'm going to tell these guys maybe that subsonic base fire extinguisher. Pump up the base to douse the blaze is what they call it. So I'm going to hold it down at my side now. Looks like this is a fresh one. This morning? Wow. I heard there's this thing, it's like a, a subsonic speaker that you can point at the fire and it extinguishes it. It's like a sonic fire extinguisher. You ever heard of such a thing? It's like an experimental thing these college kids come up with. Yeah, no, I haven't heard of that. But I document these all over the country. That's my truck right there. Yeah. And all the unburnt weeds sticking up out of the scorch. Yeah. And all of these are burnt in the middle with weeds standing around the outer perimeter of the clump of grass. Yeah. My YouTube channel is Jeff Snyder with the number two at the end, S-N-Y-D-E-R. You'll be able to glean a lot of understanding about what's going on here. Oh, uh, yeah. Because everyone's real tight-lipped about it. In fact, the last firefighters I talked to, they said, this is actually a crime scene, a restricted area, and you're not supposed to be here. Oh, uh, yeah. And so under that, they can't talk about it either. They're interfering, interfering with the investigation. But I think you guys aren't equipped to fight this stuff, and there's this new technology out there that might help. Yeah. This, it's called Pump Up the Base to Douse the Blaze on YouTube. Uh -huh. And it shows these college kids that came up with like a sub, uh, a low frequency base, and they point it at a pan that's on fire, and it puts out the fire. Hmm. I think that might be what's required for this kind of new fire we're looking at. Yeah. Because from what I understand, fluctuations in the magnetic field create grounds, uh, a, a surge of ground current. And the electricity comes up, burns the trees from the inside out, burns the densest piece of wood from the inside out, right beside highly flammable foliage, leaves and weeds. Yeah. So you guys are probably seeing this all over, wondering why no one's talking about it, which is the same with me. I've been documenting it three years. It was a crazy phenomenon at first. Even crazier is the fact that still no one's talking about it, and I'm the only one. Yeah. So you guys can check out my YouTube channel if you want. Right. Might give you some insight. Just thought I'd... So this was today. Yeah, this was this morning. I reached into the ash and felt that it was hot. I was like, holy yeah. shit, that's fresh. Yeah, it was this morning at like 10. Yeah. Well, I count these. I drive truck, been driving truck for the last three years, and they're increasing exponentially everywhere oh, yeah. I go. So, yeah, you might want to look into that. Talk to talk to your, you know, fire yeah. captain about this new technology. And this, this, it's almost like those candles that come back to life on you after you blow them out. Yeah. This shit might require something like that frequency to put it out. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you. Take it easy. And that's what's up. Arming firefighters with the white hot sword of truth. But just before I got out of my truck, I envisioned fire uh, 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 police officers beating my ass, saying, now you want to keep talking or you want to shut the hell up now? But as you can see, I got my priorities. Because that guy on the four-wheeler, he's part of a larger organization. You can speculate as to what that organization might be. 
but they probably have power in a lot of ways. But you know that that guy on that four-wheeler isn't running YouTube, or I wouldn't be able to show you this. You would not be receiving this message if it was up to that guy on the wheeler. So I should probably split before they tell me it's a crime scene. And I think we got all the footage we came for. He said it was this morning at about 10 o'clock. It's like three or four now. I don't know what time it is, I'd have to look. It's afternoon. Sun's right there, whatever time that is. Deuce, deuce.